and with like with the whole game itself being the way that it is with the fights it's like you can't get orbs because of the way the the, the the fights are spread out and plus for the fact nearly all the enemies that you verse except for like what probably the first two enemies that you've come up to you can only stun them when you're hitting them that's the other stupid thing about it and then obviously three came out and then they've, they've, they've kept that system but they made it so that there was more frequent enemies come on on the first fucking mission there's nearly like 12 to 13 enemies and if you do it right you can get a triple s within that fight that entire fight and then the second mission you fight a boss with a bunch of enemies mission three you fight shit tons of enemies and there's another boss And with the whole fact of the thing, oh, they basically made it so it's like you don't get damaged, you will get an S guaranteed, yeah. Because if you're fucking skillful to do it, you will be, you, 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 you obviously have praised for, a, for an S, even triple. Because if you get S on every single one, you get double S plus S. And if you do it all, get all S's and no damage, you get triple. So like I say, I, well, out of all of the Devil May Cry's, Devil May Cry 3 is the hardest one to get to the level. Because you pretty much, you've got to learn the fucking game. 100%. You've got to learn the game. Because I know for a fact, on Dante must die mode, Virgil, I don't think he's going to act like he does on number three, when you're on Dante must die mode. There's no way on this planet he's going to act like he does on three. Because like I always say, if people are actually determined to get triple S on every single mission, on that, on that game, on every single mission, on every difficulty. Good luck. Especially on Don Tamer's Diamond. You've got to learn the game. 100%. You've got to fight the bosses nearly 20,000 times to memorize every single move. And if you master Royal Guard, you pretty much saw it. If you master that, master learn the computer's moves the enemy's moves you get easy s triple the demons doing in a city like this you could probably beat virgil on this just by standing still and letting him attack you and then you just royal guard him parry 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 and then when you get it all full up smack do the forward be in it it probably could kill him Oh yeah, you finally beat it. So like, if everybody didn't, like they've done accomplishments and they've been in the game, yeah, yeah, it probably was hard. It probably was this and other, but people, people that's done Devil May Cry 3, triple S's on every mission, on every difficulty, they have truly mastered that fucking game, 100%. Because, like, why do you think I'm, like, so good at dodging? I'm so good at parrying? It's because of that game. Because it's got everything on it. Dodging, trickster, it's got it's when they introduced the whole style system. 
Swordmaster is for when you want to be in the face doing moves. Trickster is pretty much dodging. And then Royal Guard is counter and it's parry. And then obviously Gunslinger is just if you just want to look fancy doing moves. Cancel it into different things. And that's why I always say, when someone does this, yeah. someone does that, yeah, it's not hard to do that because you basically keep playing the fucking game over and over again until you've pretty much mastered the bastard. Hence, when people go competitive, they go to tournaments and shit, they only play that one game. again. Beat the game but no rocket. But you should get the powerful rocket on the game. The beat you when you just when you beat it. Because you fight the last mission is when you fight the big fucking robot. And then you fight. No, it's not. That's the second to the last one. Because the last mission is when you fight. Or is it? Because the last mission is when you fight. When you fight. Uh, I forgot his name. Galvatron. Is it Galvatron? The, the fucking planet that eats all the planets. Or is he the last one? remember when you beat it you, you got the rocket you got the last level rocket yeah it's when you're doing all the fly sequence shit when you're in space game what the hell are you doing I... <sighs> I'm pretty sure I hit him with a full blast shot and he didn't do the effect Pretty sure that's how you used to get it. I 
I'm certain to hell it's not one of them. Every time you, when you beat the game, you've got the level four rocket or level what or the whatever, whatever level it is. You just have to look it up. Go into the main thing then. Go into the main, like, where you select rockets and stuff. Like I said, just look it up. But I was saying you get it when you beat the game. I didn't want to 